Reading is not the strong suit of Taiwanese children, who rank far behind kids in South Korea, Japan, China, Hong Kong, and Singapore in the latest international reading comprehension exams. But some teachers say practice makes perfect, and that all they need to do is get kids excited about reading. One school has done just that by having parents perform shows that bring books to life. Another has brought tablets into the classroom to teach children that reading isn't restricted to just books. Today in our weekly special report, we visit classrooms that are getting creative as they try to inspire a love for the written word. Up on stage, a lively performance has this group of children captivated and gleeful. These storytelling mothers are performing The Tale of Ten Sisters, an adaptation of the Ming Dynasty story Ten Brothers. Sixteen years ago, these mothers had begun performing only for the sake of entertaining their own children. But after their children graduated, they realized that they'd fallen in love with the theater. Unable to pull themselves away from the school stage, they formed a performance troupe and continued their journey as storytelling mothers. I feel that telling stories is like giving presents. When you genuinely and sincerely share a story with someone, they might receive a gift from that experience. As the story unfolds, there might be tales of hardships or challenges. Through your storytelling and sharing, audiences can gain a new kind of strength. From the script and the props to the choreography, these mothers do it all on their own, and they never complain of being tired. They have not lost sight of their original mission, which is to inspire children to love reading. When they're performing, we get to see the story unfolds. We can watch the story play out, and it's easier to imagine. But just reading a story isn't so bad if you exercise your imagination. After their performance, the troupe donates a copy of Ten Brothers to the school library to entice children to step inside. When it comes to the students' reading, we have what we call dramatic storytelling and silent reading. Each is a different experience for the kids. When some children read, they have a bit of trouble with the words. Not every child is a fluent reader. That being the case, we try to switch it up with dramatic storytelling. Through theatrical performance, the story appears before the children's eyes. That makes a deep impression on young children. Being able to read is a powerful skill, and it is the foundation of learning. It is also through reading that children explore the world and get to know it better. In the 2018 Program for International Student Assessment, the reading comprehension of Taiwanese 15-year-olds ranked 17th out of 79 countries. That put Taiwan behind Singapore, Hong Kong, Korea and Japan. Countries worldwide, especially developed countries, all attach great importance to these international evaluations. The Program for International Student Assessment measures reading comprehension. What exactly is meant by that? Reading involves three abilities, access and retrieval, integration and interpretation, and reflection and evaluation. These three skills strengthen as reading becomes a habit. For the child, they become an important advantage in the classroom. If the kid has all three abilities, it means they're very good at accessing and retrieving information, very good at integrating and interpreting information, and very good at reflecting on and evaluating their knowledge. It means that this child, regardless of what they study, will be able to learn it very quickly. To foster reading comprehension and the ability to integrate information, this school is doing its utmost to kindle a love for reading. At this calligraphy exhibit, students are encouraged to read to explore the world of paper. We encourage interdisciplinary study. Lower year students have fun making paper by hand. Those in the middle years look at the science behind paper, and those in the upper years have fun reusing and recycling paper. Student learning shouldn't be limited to knowledge and skills. Learning should be tied into everyday life. Creating a dynamic library has been the joint effort of all the teachers who have built a diverse collection to encourage kids to read. 
the library has something for everyone, including children with special needs. He's an autistic child. There is perhaps no way for him to interact with people in the way that other children do. However, through reading, he can change himself, and then he can express himself without impediment through writing. He can share his poetry in front of everyone, bravely standing in front of everyone, willingly sharing his poetry. In the digital age, reading has broken free of the limits of the printed page. Digital publishing has emerged, allowing anyone to publish online. In such times, critical analysis of what we read is now even more important. Knowing how to read information online is a very important ability. When you're playing with your phone or looking at your computer screen, that's reading in the digital age. How do we determine what is fake news and what comes from an authoritative source? Reading is not just going to a bookstore and reading the pages. You have to have the ability to analyze everything you read. That's a big component of learning. This is Xinju's Zhuguang Junior High School. Walk into this classroom of the future, you'll see not books but tablets on top of the desks. Six years ago, Chen Naicheng began using the latest educational software in his classroom. It's got games where students compete to be the first to answer, and it encourages students to discuss topics. Through the software, students can practice their comprehension skills. I often get complaints from the parents of students with good grades because the kids end up spending so much time practicing their schoolwork on the games. They're playing at home even during their holidays, so I get complaints. Pagamo is just that alluring to them. This online suite of games, Pagamo, was produced by a team led by National Taiwan University Department of Electrical Engineering professor Ye Bingcheng. Ye and college students developed the educational software together. In 2015, their software beat out products from 427 teams to win gold in the world's first educational innovation championship competition. The name Pagamo is a homophone of the Hoklo expression that means learning through playing games. Many kids grow up playing with mobile phones or watching YouTube. If an article is just a bit on the long side, they won't read it all the way through. They don't know how to settle down. Later on, we discovered our way of doing things. A lot of teachers talked to us and said they noticed that after a summer, their students became better at focusing. They were able to calm down and read. Through stories, games, and activities that promote reading, schools hope to encourage students to love the written word. Helping them develop reading comprehension also helps them develop their self-study skills. Even though the world is changing fast, I think that Taiwan's children are able to pick up new skills quickly and learn new things, learn fast. I think Taiwanese children will be very competitive in the future. For students hoping to make their mark, reading is a crucial skill. Classrooms are introducing exciting ways to teach reading skills to put kids on the track to success.